Good morning all. So I just wanted to give you a run through of kind of some of the chores that I do um, on a daily basis for the most part um, in the garden. A little worm farm I started with some comfrey growing out of it <laughs> all right so I usually head over and turn on the drip irrigation I do this two times a day in uh, my zone because it just gets hot and humid here and so I want to make sure that uh, everything is off except the drip that I need on so this is off this is on perfect and it will leak like this until I turn the timer and I usually put the timer on about 45 minutes um, and I do this twice a day The drip irrigation is really a godsend because really as I expand it does take a lot of time to water the garden and so <clears throat> I'm just really excited that I was afforded the opportunity to be able to buy all the supplies that I needed to water this whole space um, having young kiddos and trying to get a, you know a newborn at one point um, it's just been incredibly uh, a blessing to be able to have this drip irrigation system. Now, they say the drip irrigation system actually saves you a ton of money if you have to use municipal water. And I would agree that it does save you money, but you also have to make sure that you catch all of the leaks uh, that are really bad or you're gonna have an issue um, with that. So um, I have a few areas in the garden that I need to repair. And the cheapest way that I know how to do it is electrical tape. So I'm gonna get that on that very soon. There are a few areas in the garden that do not have drip irrigation and when it was installed, I'm not sure why. Um, I was pregnant at the time, so I was in the house and my husband was out here with some ladies uh, from our local extension office and um, installing the drip irrigation. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure why they did it that way, but uh, it's okay. I found that, hello, <laughs> one second. Um, I found that uh, it just happens to be that I'm just gonna have to water some places. So let me show you that in just a second. All right, so it's always great to stop and talk to neighbors. Um, so yeah, sometimes um, or the drip irrigation is not hooked up to every ounce of this farm. So I still have to hand water um, at times. So like for instance, I do a lot of container gardening and so, you know, I still have to hand water these guys now this drip I also there's a leak to where it drips on this cardboard and so I put some hay there to kind of because um, it gets muddy and stuff right here so that's another area that I need to fix but it's also good because uh, it's almost like these are getting watered from the bottom too and that's why I kind of put these there to kind of soak up some of that water um, so it, it's kind of like they're on drip, but they're not. This guy is not on drip, uh, so I have to hand water her. This is a mono orange tomato plant, and of course all of my pepper plants. Ooh, I don't know what that big bang was. Um, and zucchini plants here. All of these container plants 
are are not watered by the drip so I have to hand water those so it's okay most of the garden is watered I don't think I told you all about this bed in a previous video but this is all carrots and I have some lettuce that is on the side but these are carrots and uh, growing big carrot tops means there's a lot of nitrogen in the soil so you need more phosphorus um, and so I've done that um, the carrots are a decent size but I would love for them to be bigger Also walking around, uh, you know, when to hand water the garden also gives me a chance to take a gander at what's, how the plants are doing, what's going on, if I need to, um, you know, fix anything, if, if there's plants knocked over or broken, um, and when it becomes time to harvest, um, it's a great chance to kind of look around and see what's available for harvesting just like this right here now I'm not sure what happened but looks like the plant is okay it's just not trellising like the others so you know it gives me a chance to go ahead and fix things like that uh, usually typically too I would pull weeds um, as well um, since I've laid the straw down I don't have too many weeds uh, but um, there's still areas where I don't have straw and that's not really there's no reason for that I just got lazy I did one <laughs> you know I did it my tomatoes and basically stopped I'm on tomatoes and peppers um, these are flowers right here zinnias it doesn't mean that they don't need mulch they can have mulch too but it just wasn't a priority at the time so I'm going to fix this guy uh, make sure that my plants don't need pruning um, as well and just, and just look at what i'm doing here and, and be excited about it um thank you all so much for watching uh till next time bye bye